Hello! In this video we are going to make improvements for our store. I'll reminder, previously we made a custom store and we mostly used adding links um, to keep track of, of the links we added and uh, avoid refreshing the page uh, every time the link is added. Uh, but today I want to focus on displaying this is adding true or false on this button. Uh, well, if it's our local machine, handles both backend and frontend, it's almost instant. But we can add some, uh, you know, delay there uh, just to see that animation. Also, I want to make a multiple command support on the web WebSocket server side. So we can not only add new links, but also send comments from front end like, hey, I want a list of all links. I want to create a link. I want to delete a link. And you know, something like that. Okay, so let's start. First of all, I think we need to make a comment here like get list or fetch list yeah let's let's call it fetch list so it will take no arguments because we have nothing to use here as an argument and we will send our backend a JSON that will have a special type. I'll call it T, short for type. And it will say link uh, list. Yeah, so this is fine. Uh, let's see that it will, uh, let's make it to fetch list on the start of the app. So here we can just write uh, list store fetch list and it should send the request to our backend immediately. Let's see it in action. So this is our WebSocket connection and we can see we send this command t link list but we got no response. We need to add support on our server for such uh, request and response right now we consider that a message that is coming to us is just uh, always add a link but we need to get support for multiple types okay so here we'll just say after parsing the uh, request the message we will check data.t and uh, if it is list oh well I feel a little bit useless here because nowadays machines write the code but we need to tell them what to do okay so the code here will fetch data from the database or get all the links and it will return it as a list of links. Let's see how it works. Refresh page here. And we probably got an error. Did we? Um, right. Okay this piece of code got executed and also this piece of code got executed because I forgot to you know stop execution after the switch uh, but actually instead let's do something like link add that will do the thing and here we should say break to stop case from propagating down Okay, this should work. Let's start our dev server again. 
Okay, wonderful. Let's refresh page here. We see we received link list. And here I can see we got the data back. Amazing. Okay, but now our data that is coming back is just a per array of links without any differentiation of what is this data. Is it response for some request? Is it, I don't know, some random message from the server? We need to type it. The easiest way to do that is to add T here and we can still use link list and property data would handle the data itself, the payload. Okay, let's do same here for created. Link add data link. Okay. Uh, once we save this here, this thing here will probably have a error. No? Okay, not yet. But we need to go to our store and in this event listener we need to... Ah yeah, the error is actually here. We, we got all the values undefined. Uh, and here we need only to handle um, specific events, not all of them, like right now. Okay, we'll also add switch at this part of the code and we'll basically do all, all the same thing. Uh, yeah, we can use return to. Okay, this is almost correct. I think uh, it's time to improve this function. So let is let it be set state and um, one more will do set state update state update state yeah well it feels like we don't need update state because it's basically the same as this one okay Um, <laughs> so T data, 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 okay, let's call it message, message T and message data is much cleaner than data, data, okay, cool, and here we should say store update, is adding false okay that should do the trick uh, yeah we still need to handle error uh, let's move it here okay I think that should work let's check it out so the page is refreshed and we got all the data now not just just the new data but let's see how it works if we add a new one so I'll say one.com add okay I don't see it added to the table uh, interesting why first of all let's uh, look at the message from the backend ah right okay so the data here got sent but without type without t let's fix that so it should be link slash add Okay, and let's uh, double check on the back end. Data 
let's uh, rename it here to message two. Okay, and message data should do the trick. Message, message. Okay, this is the problem we have is two variables are called the same. One is this function argument and another one that we just renamed to be message is a constant here. So let's uh, rename one of them. Uh, so this one will be message raw. And this is just message, but we know it's JSON. Okay, let's see how it works. one.com yep we got it here wonderful so this is the way we can add more and more cases for our uh, application uh, I think one more case that we need to handle still is error message uh, yeah, yeah and hand alert <laughs> error handling so once we try to uh, save the link, we need to add try catch. Oh wait, before we do that, before let, let's see how it will work without that. So here we have it. A look at the terminal, the, the back backend logs on the left and front end logs on the right. So if we forget to add a link, well, let's just leave everything empty here and click add. First, we'll see that URL priority are empty and we haven't got any response back. And on the left, we see error that is not handled. So it killed the application. And this is Prisma client validation error, meaning, well, we cannot have empty priority I guess empty URL is fine from SQL column uh, validation perspective but priority has to be one of the num values so this is one that failed now let's handle it by adding try catch this is like the simplest validation uh, later on we'll add Zod to validate it before it hits the database Okay, so error unknown if instance of error, we'll send it back. Okay, um, just let's change the type here. So we know what exactly was the error. So I think link slash add slash error is fine. And maybe here we can call it success if it just created successfully. Okay, so this is success. And let me copy this and it will be error. Adding false. Yes, wonderful let's check it out so we need to restart our backend uh, let's try to send empty message now okay wonderful so we got link add error with some data that is a string and this is not a very friendly string not a human friendly, at least, uh, but it's something. So uh, let's make a loading animation here and error message here. So we need to switch to link create component. Um, 
Mm -hmm. So we use link store. This is good. And um, we need to check the easy UI for um, button loading animations. So we go to documentation, we look for button, and there should be something with loading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Here it is. So just loading. I'll use simple syntax here. Link store add error load. Ah, oh, wait. It's not about error. My bad is adding loading otherwise it's just empty string and let's add a short delay on the back end back end is here before we send it sleep uh, two seconds Okay. Oh wait, this is list. Wrong place. Here. Okay, so we add something here, something here. Nice. So it's loading. Okay, and we also need to display error message. So for simplicity, I want to add it here below the button, but let me quickly check the easy UI. Might be they have something for form forms. Maybe input. Uh -huh, here. Okay, let's see. So we have labels. I think that should work. Label plus label. Mm -hmm. I guess we might need to wrap it into uh, form control. Not well. Uh, there is a simple version provided by uh, GitHub Copilot and uh, let's use it first. So we need to add each, oh sorry, each if if error we display this. Okay, no error now. And one should be, should be, should be, do we parse it? Let me see if we parse the error correctly. And error message data. Hmm. Uh, okay. I need to figure out with my ID. It doesn't show me type errors for TypeScript for stores because it not, it's not error, it's add error here. Yeah. Okay, and we got the error. And if we try to add something valid, it's gone. Cool. Yeah, this would work. So let's summarize what we've done. Uh, we made support for multiple type of messages. We got list of links in the beginning of our upload. We added loading animation and error mess, uh, error handling. And this is quite fine for our small simple app here and uh, a good base for, you know, for improving the application. So yeah, that would be it for this session. In the next session, uh, let's see what we are going to do. 
I think we need to start utilizing authentication because right now it just, uh, you know, it's not used at all. We got access to all the data in the database. So we'll do some stuff with Lucia to create users and sign them in and out. And that would be pretty good for one session, I think. Yep, see you in the next one. Should be there. Ciao. Hotkey. Wait, I said hotkey. Oh, wrong hotkey.